Need Speed Unbound Palace Edition. Is it actually worth buying? Is it actually worth getting? Well, in this video, guys, we're actually going to find out today and to see what Need Speed Unbound has got for us in the Palace Edition bundle. So let's go. Before we do as well, make sure you give the video a big fat thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because I know you guys have been showing some so much support lately. So keep going. Keep going. Let's keep doing this. Right. So Need Speed Unbound Palace Edition. What do you actually get in the Palace Edition? Well, you actually get up to four cars, my friends. Four cars. So you get a Mercedes AMG GT Black Series 2020. You get a Volkswagen Golf GTI. 1976 as well as a bmw m3 evolution 2 e30 1988 as well as a mercedes amg g63 2017 so yes those are the cars that you get in the game they're obviously like kind of pre-customized already because that's what you know deluxe editions do normally they like, kind of give you like pre like you know made cars kind of thing or stuff so yeah is there any problems is there any benefits of this well first of all i will say this they've chosen a good selection of cars kind of i will say this look i feel like to me already the volkswagen golf gti 19 76 is already a bit of a waste straight away in my eyes because they could have chose any other car but they chose a volkswagen gold 1976 now i know a lot of people are gonna be like oh my god exige that's like one of the coolest cars ever you can get like why are you doubting this car why are you hate it my friend relax i'm telling you now they could chose any other car and they chose that i'm just for a deluxe you know i'm gonna call it deluxe you know palace edition let's say that palace edition bundle i was expecting a bit more with the cars like even like even the mercedes g-wagon where's the lamborghini euros boys like you, you you had a chance to kind of sell it a bit more but you've gone with this kind of route don't get me wrong it's it's still a good bundle don't get me wrong it's actually it's still a good bundle but for me if i was being picky uh, those are like the things that i'd say i say that de genuinely speaking the mercedes amg gt black series 2020 is actually a really good uh pick from what they've chose so I'll be honest with you, it's actually like kind of low-key, slightly a dub, but also can be part of an L if you're RPK in terms of, you know, want to get the Palace Edition, but then they're not got the cars that you want or whatever. So yeah. As well as Lamborghini Urus is a new car, so I'm actually excited to see that a lot. So I felt like they could have actually maybe put that in there, but look, it is what it is. It needs to be done what they've done. What I do want to say is this. Now, if you notice from the image now here, looking at the BMW E30, already I see customized seats. Are those natural? Are those normal? Or do we actually get to, you know, have a little bit of fun with you know playing around with the seats or the coloring etc i know knee speed is not first person but however though i know as well at the same time they did say a lot about the customizations but i don't know man this this it, it looks quite customizable you know like it just look i'm guessing this is just standard but you know to raise a rare awareness i don't know man but i think to be fair it's a bit more just the design than it actually be you can be able, be able to customize because most of the time i felt like to me anyway i'm pretty sure the ether was what black leather maybe potentially i don't know but you know i've never really seen anything like white leather interior and stuff like that inside the car especially something like that anyway so yeah customization wise on the cars overall actually quite nice quite beautiful especially the black series i think that's actually like one of the better ones in my opinion especially the better bundle pick but yeah overall though that's the palace edition um said and done with the four cars palace obviously as well if you don't know what palace is it's basically like a brand like a skateboarding brand so they obviously got a lot of clothing with that you get as well as well as we're going to talk about expressing yourself in the game express yourself in need speed unbound Ride in a style with pioneering fashion brands including Palace, Versace, Puma and Namil, Namilia, I don't know what I say, and then the other ones as well, which I never heard of. I'm not lying to you, Puma, already cool. Versace, you've pretty much fallen off, so this is where you've gone to now. As well as Palace, I never really heard of it, but it's nice to see. It's it's actually been, I think it's been like a quite a known brand like for a while now as well. Like, it's not the biggest brand in the world, but it's definitely like being there. It's been here for longevity, boys, I will say that. For me, do I care about clothing? No, but for you guys, I still will say this though. And for us, to, actually, to be fair, for the people that love aesthetics, like, you know, photos, cameras, etc., vice versa, I will say if we are allowed customize obviously the character i mean we are allowed to customize the characters but you know when it comes out to you know taking photos maybe with your character with the car you know maybe matching clothing with the car may maybe you know you know there's a load of things that you could do now and i feel like to me there's, there's going to be a lot of c cinematography and photography and whatever not is going to be absolutely incredible to see and i feel like to me needs to be unbound could potentially you know bring a comeback you know because you know i know this is very little things and you know not big big news but you know if you're going to take the littlest things the littlest things make the biggest details that's what we'll say so and obviously as well going back into the palace edition you know new speed unbound palace edition stacked uh palace clothing packed is included 20 items within the bundle as well so obviously you get like 20 items you know palace and stuff like that in general as well as obviously you get able to get the driving effects as well i'm guessing like the kind of like special driving effects that you can only get on palace edition hopefully maybe i'm pretty sure there will be so yeah as well as obviously a variety uh palace uh derelicts as well so that's interesting to see as well you obviously get like a personalized custom plate or whatever as well for your car 
bars and so much more as well to show that you've actually you know got the price edition now talking about cost wise it will cost you around about 79.99 i think in the uk so yes it's gonna be around about 80 pounds or so i did make a video on this as well previously or like about the price and stuff so if you want to go check that video you can go check that video it's on my channel somewhere overall though you know what it's not bad what you get with it to be fair and i felt like you know for the past couple of years or so i don't feel like Newsfeed of obviously trying to improve their deluxe editions and you know we're starting to see slight improvements now of it as well is it worth actually getting the palace edition now as an eves and now this is coming from a person that's actually purchased you know deluxe editions whatever editions of Neve speed editions I, i've purchased a lot of them I'll tell you that. Most new speeds out. The only new speed I'd never purchased in Deluxe and stuff like that was actually new speed heat, fun fact. So yeah, obviously we need speed 2015, you know, like I'm, I'm just like suggesting off my PS4 and stuff, you know, like payback as well. Payback was such a waste. I shouldn't have done that, but look, I did it anyway. But like overall though, you know, is it worth actually getting the past edition, you know, for new speed unbound? Now hear me out, look. For me, during the past, you know, like, years of playing Neve Speed, I've had it to me, I got there quite quickly when it came to the cars. So, for example, when I got the cars that I got, like, you know, from the, like, editions, the deluxe edition or whatever, I've had it to me, genuinely. It was cool and all for a bit. Afterwards, it kind of just felt like, to me, I kind of wasted money because during the time of leveling up, you kind of get to the cars already, kind of quite click quickly, depending on how fast you play the game, obviously. But, yeah. Overall, though, for a first time, I definitely feel like you'll actually love this. For a first time, when I first bought my deluxe edition or whatever, it was it's actually new speed 2015 if i'm correctly i think yeah if you're a first time with new speed and you do get the palace edition i will say you actually gonna have a lot more fun compared to the person that actually gets it every year or every time kind of thing 2015 when i got my first ever uh, deluxe edition for new speed 2015 it was actually a lot of fun and still to this day actually by the way as well i still use the m3 that i get the m3 gtr most wanted car so for me it was actually a lot of fun to use i think i think you only got that as well as a few other things as well and parts and stuff like that for your car which i never actually used ever but overall though I, I actually kind of enjoyed it to be fair however when it came to like needs to be payback I, it was a bit i didn't know the game was going to fall off that horrendously at the time but i brought the deluxe anyway and it it, it just didn't go well because legit as the time when it came to me leveling up i actually managed to get the cars that i could have got without having to pay extra money basically so yeah if we're going to talk about you know need speed unbound palace edition is it worth actually getting it yeah need speed unbound palace edition is actually worth it getting it i say for a first time in need speed maybe i don't, actually no i say for first time it definitely yes because it's your first time you actually want to have the best experience possible so go ahead bro go ahead and buy that game if you already bought the game and obviously you already buy it every year and stuff like that that's your opinion that you must live a hardcore fan of need speed which is fair enough and i can't you know you know doubt that or whatever so yeah and that's all your, your own perspective on it however from my own perspective i felt like it was a bit of a waste so hence why if i do get the game when i do or when i don't i don't know you know let's say possibilities if it has come to the point where i actually want to get the game then i will probably get the standard edition because i felt like it'd just be cheaper and a bit more better if anything as well as an e-speed fanboy myself i kind of level up quite quickly especially in games and i can kind of you know whiz past them so i felt for like for me it's, just, it's not going to be too difficult to be honest with you so yeah but overall yeah i think that's about it that's all i can say really about this like need speed unbound hasn't really given as much news i wasn't actually going to do news on this in the first place that's why like in a couple of days i didn't really upload but i thought to myself i might as well upload for you guys and actually just like give you my own opinions on that because obviously i clearly see that you lot you lot love it you like hate it you know it's just a mixed reviews here and there so yeah but overall though that's what you get with the palace edition you just get clothing you just get driving effects you just get you know the four cars that you get um you know different derelicts and stuff like that to like you know it's just that's that's pretty much all there is really so uh, there's not there's not really much for the price you get but yeah like i can't i don't want to say two bad things because you know for a first time like i'm i'm th really i'm looking at it as for the first time i've been speed first time i've been speed should just enjoy it but for the people that have been new speed for a while and loved it I feel like it's a bit of an L than a W, you know. So, yeah. Overall, though, I want to say, you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you have enjoyed. If you did, let me know if you actually brought the Palace Edition as well. I know some people have actually straight away brought it, which is fair enough to see, and that's fair. But overall, though, let me know what you feel about this. And, uh, yeah, just 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 express your opinions, man. So, you know what I mean? I want to see. I want to see them. I want to see them. So, yeah. Overall, though, I am working on a few videos here and there as well at the same time, or a few video concepts or ideas of new speed as well. So, I will see, hopefully, you don't have to like keep doing these news reports kind of things on need speed unbound i actually kind of want to do a bit more than that so yeah we're actually going to try and find that out and see what i can do with that anyway so yeah but anyway i'll see you like in a bit taking stuff like that it's been a lovely up peace damn bro i messed up that outro so bad <laughs> but yeah anyway uh like subscribe and peace <laughs>